based on ticket sales, it was a weak showing at the box office over the weekend, but that could be about to change. The Dark Knight Rises will be queued up at the box office just about midnight. Eric Childress, vice president of the Chicago Film Critics Association, has our sneak peek. What was your first impression? It's absolutely tremendous. I mean, Christopher Nolan, who for my money is one of the very best directors working today, has pretty much cemented his name as well as the name of Batman amongst the greatest trilogies, I think, of all time. And I mean, this is something that even Superman and Spider-Man, you know, at the height of their popularity, could not pull off in their trilogies. And this is something that's really going to stand the test of time. I'm hearing there's a lot of action, but is it high impact or complicated to keep up with? Well, Christopher Nolan's screenplays are known for being very complex. And this is a film that, you know, the first half of the movie, there's a lot of set up. We're not quite sure, you know, the loyalties of characters and how all these things are going to tie together. Uh, but there is a lot of action definitely sprinkled out through the movie. The final act is pretty much nothing but action. It's very intense, very exciting. Uh, but it is a movie that you're going to want to keep up with and one that you're probably going to want to see a second time to get all the pieces together. Dark Knight is the only film opening up at the box office this mm -hmm. weekend. It opens up at 12.01 a.m. tonight. How are sales? Well, we can go back to January where there are already reports of people were already selling out IMAX shows for this, you know, this particular midnight uh, showing. And, you know, since then we've had, you know, scalpers on eBay and, you know, probably out in front of theaters, you know, handing out $200 tickets, uh, which is kind of ridiculous. You know, just wait a couple days and you'll be able to get a ticket. But you're going to see a lot of money change hands this weekend. And what do you expect as far as actual ticket sales numbers? Well, The Dark Knight back in 2008 opened to $158 million, which at the time was the highest three-day grossing film uh, of all time. Since then, it's been eclipsed by uh, the last Harry Potter film from last year and earlier this year with The Avengers. Uh, I think you know, you're probably going to see probably low end this weekend, at least $175 million for The, uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Avengers opened at 207 million. We're going to see if it can if it can eclipse that. Uh, but I think the sky's the limit for this movie. You know, after that. I mentioned there were weak sales at the box office. Maybe people were holding back. But here are so. the closing numbers: Ice Age coming in with 46 million dollars. The Amazing Spider-Man at 34. Ted at 22. Brave 11. Savages at 9 million. Mm -hmm. Well, Ice Age, you know, it was the, the lowest uh, three-day weekend uh, that that series has had. And this is a series that, you know, has generated a lot of money for Fox. Uh, but worldwide, as, you know, has already opened before it even opened here uh, domestically, has already grossed over $340 million. So it's one of the top, you know, six gro highest grossing films of the year. In about a week or so, it's going to eclipse Madagascar 3 as the highest grossing animated film of the year. We'll find out next week if you were right on your numbers with Dark Knight. Thank you, Eric Childress. Thank you.